Hi, my name is Steve Hallfish. I'm the author of The Art and Technique of Digital Color Correction and co-author of Color Correction for Video. Color correction is something that has to be done efficiently. There's usually a given budgeted amount of time to color correct a project, and even if you have an unlimited amount of time, you still want to stay in the flow of the process. One of the things that can help you be efficient and stay in the moment is having access to the best waveform monitor and the best view of that display or combination of displays. Each image and each process can require that you look at a different display, like a waveform, parade waveform, vector scope, or a gamut display, and that you can quickly zoom in and look at a particular part of that display. The preset functionality of the Tektronix waveform monitors, including the lower cost WFM5200 that I'm using here, helps you stay focused on the task of color grading instead of button pushing. First, let me show you some presets that I've created on my WFM5200. Note that the WFM5200 and the rasterizer version of the WFM5200 show two trace displays at a time. The big brothers of the WFM5200, the 7000 and 8000 series, can show four different trace displays at once. The WFM5200 cam option can show four different displays simultaneously in quadrants, but only two of them can have a trace like a waveform, vector scope, or a gamut display. The other two displays can be any combination of audio information, picture, or status, which can be very useful in color correction. Since we're talking about color correction, we'll always use one of the quads for picture and one for our status set to alarms. The top two displays we'll use for our actual images. One of the most common displays for two waveform monitors would be an RGB parade and a vector scope. For most purposes, this is a good default. Each of these presets can be custom named by you. You might call this one standard. Another preset would be an RGB waveform and a standard waveform display. I called this one Waves BRU because I've also included a bright up display for the picture monitor, showing you where there are illegal colors, kind of like zebra stripes on some cameras. You see the bright up stripes as I bring up the brightness on the source. Another good preset would be a vector scope and the complementary gamut display of a spearhead. I called this one Color. It's a common misconception that the vector scope displays saturation, but really the distance from the center can also be affected by value or a combination of both. Having the spearhead lets you know whether it's coming from saturation or value. For example, if you're going for a look of reduced saturation, spearhead is the only display that can show you the level of saturation across shots. The vector scope is a good complement to the spearhead because the vector scope shows hue. Here, the spearhead is showing that our highlights are a little misbalanced. If they were balanced, they'd line up right along the left edge of the spearhead. Now, if you use the capture function to do matching, check out the video on scene matching to see what I'm talking about. The brightness doubles, so I created a preset to lower the waveform trace brightness. I called this one Match Cap. This shows how your presets don't have to be different display combinations, but also different settings for displays. You could also do variations on some of these, like I often want to see a zoom of my blacks in the waveform. So I have a side-by-side -side of a standard RGB parade and another RGB parade zoomed into the shadows. Also, a matching one that shows the zoom into the highlights. I called them Zoom Shadow and Zoom Highlight. These allow you to see the relative position on the main RGB parade, but then really see some great detail on the zoomed image. I love the Luma qualified vectors that let you see the vector scopes for a specific tonal range. I created side-by-side -side LQVs for highlights and shadows called LQV High Low. These side-by-side -side LQVs may look like a standard vector scope, but I have them set up to only show me the deepest shadows on the left LQV and the highlights on the right LQV. This makes finding a white and black point much easier because the midtones aren't shown. Finally, maybe a good view for balancing called balance, with a vector scope matched with the diamond display. The diamond is actually showing you that the blacks are balanced, but the highlights are a little green and a little red, which means yellow. Drag the highlight color wheel a touch towards blue, and voila, your highlights are balanced. With the WFM5200, gain, magnification, brightness, position are all accessed at the touch of a button instead of having to adjust them for every shot. This increases your efficiency dozens or hundreds of times a day. The important thing about presets is that you can customize them exactly the way you want, from the colors to the zooms to the gains to the names. The other thing is that they're easily recalled. 
Just hit the preset button and the soft key that has the name of the preset you want, and you're done. There are actually four banks of eight presets in the WFM5200. It's easiest if all your common presets are in just one bank, but the WFM5200 can save a total of 32 presets. You can easily transport these presets between devices. I've saved the presets I created and they're available for download from Tektronix. Let me show you how to download the presets. Locate them on the Tech website www.tektronics.com slash WFM5200 and download them to your computer. Unstuff them. The folder should probably read WFM PRST and load it onto a USB thumb drive. Then unplug it from your computer. Go over to your Tektronix waveform monitor and pop the USB drive into the USB port which is right here on my WFM5200. Hold down the preset button for a few seconds Use the adjustment arrows to select Import Presets, select a source, select a USB folder, select all, select a destination, select all. Then select Copy and press the Select button. You should receive a message that it was successful. You can choose to just import a certain bank of presets, in which case you need to load it to a specific bank. Press the Preset button once to get out of this menu. Then press it again to see your newly imported presets. You can transfer your presets to other Tektronix waveform monitors or share presets with other editors who have Tektronix waveform monitors. There are lots of ways to customize your presets and save them. Check out the presets I've created and save some of your own to a USB drive. These Tektronix presets will save you hours of time getting you the right information quickly and easily when you need it. Be sure to check out the online demo of the Tektronix WFM5200 and the rest of the videos on color correction for video on the Tektronix website.